Hey guys, this is Brody Sorrell here. I'm with uh, Sifu Joey Pessner of the IKCA Kim Chinese Kempo. Um, I got that right, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. IKCA Chinese Kempo. All right. <laughs> and we are at the uh, Moosin Academy's open house today. And I have a couple of questions for uh, Sifu Joseph Pe or Joey Pessner. And um, I want to know, and the people also wanted to know, uh, what is the origin of the IKCA Chinese Kempo? Well, IKCA Chinese Kempo first started with uh, Ed Parker, who was actually the founder of uh, American Kempo. And uh, from American Kempo, he taught to Vic and Chuck La Vic, Vic LaRux, and also uh, Chuck Sullivan. Chuck Sullivan and Vic LaRue had modified it, refined the art, because, uh, what's we call it, uh, Ed Parker had elongated the art because after a while, when everyone was practicing, he just wanted to put more techniques to kind of give the students more to, more to play with. So instead they decided to refine it and bring, break it down to 55 techniques, which is broken down uh, the 300 some odd techniques that they have. Okay, um, also what is your take, what is you guys' take on fitness? Like how do you all like to work out? How important is, is fitness for y'all? Fitness is pretty important. We first start off with a warm up. We do some, uh, we usually run around 10 times around the room or more, you know, sometimes the other way around too. We mix it up, you know, we try to do something different for each class. Um, after we do that, we get into our, uh, usually it's, sometimes it's going to be a workout and more of a workout, a harder workout, but then sometimes we will also go right into our techniques, start playing with it. And eventually the point is to get to the point where you're just having fun with the techniques. You're not really thinking about your motion anymore. And then after we're done with the techniques, we go from the techniques to uh, finishing up to cool down, sort of. Uh, and then we talk about what kind of questions we have after class. Okay. Okay, uh, a lot of people have issues eating right okay, with a lot of uh, bad stuff in the food that's out there. What is the, what is the uh, take on nutrition for your discipline? How important is eating properly in your discipline and in everyday life? Uh, for me, uh, eating is very important. As of me personally, um, I, try to be in it, I try to influence my students to eat right because if you want to feel good, you have to eat right. When you eat right, everything else starts to fall into place. Also, you tend to lose some weight. Uh, it also just helps you feel good over just overall in general. I'll end what you doing. Okay, um, so what's you guys' take on nutrition? Our take on nutrition is very important. Um, I try to be an influence on influencing my students to uh, to eat right. You know, if they're not eating right, you know, they won't feel better. You want to feel better by eating right. Um, so do you think that um, eating right gives you a more effective workout or a more effective training session? That it increase, does it yes. increase your level of training? Yeah, well, yes it does because you're going to you're going to feel better, you're going to want to work out, you're not going to feel lazy anymore, or at least some people will tend to feel lazy if they're not eating correctly, and so it's important to eat right. Okay, so um, are there any type of quotes from any source, whether it's philosophy, whether it's from any type of religion or spirituality, that helps you live your life? Yes, yes. Uh, th there's one quote, uh, Colossians 1.16. Um, if you want to take a look at that, you know, just look up in a, any, any Bible. I, I personally like to read the King James uh, Bible myself. Uh, but, you know, to, you can see it in any, any sort of Bible and you can get your own interpretations on what that is. So, okay, wild card question. What about that quote really touches you the most? Really fires you up the most? It just spoke to me. So, I mean, what that means is I would, I would say to the person, look that up and talk to me about it personally. And then uh, okay. we'll see... Uh, all right, we're going to give them your, we're going to give them your information to where you can uh, they can talk to you about it. Um, now, do you have any, uh, one of the big issues in our society is a lot of people are bullied via cyber or being face to face. Is there any type of advice that you would give somebody who is being bullied? How would you deal how would you deal with a bully and how would you tell people to go about dealing with bullies? Well, dealing with bullies at, well, I'll tell you how I dealt with bullies. For me as a kid, at first I was kind of angry and I got into the martial arts and I was I started training hard, and it really motivated me to to have confidence. I mean, like uh, the big guy, the big guys would motivate me by saying, "Oh yeah, he's so little," you know. And so I got to the point where I would just pick on any sort of big. No, I wouldn't say pick on, but like uh, whenever I saw someone getting bullied, that's what motivated me. Because okay. you know, I would go help the little guy say, "Oh, you're getting bullied by him. You shouldn't get bullied by him. Let me show you something to help you out." Um, so I would. Naturally, I just give 
the smaller man some more confidence on how to deal with a, a bigger attack. So you think that people need to do something to find a way to uh, develop more confidence? Yes. Okay. And um, finally, we're here at the Moosin Academy, and you are uh, Seafood Joey Pessiner. Do you currently have any type of specials or deals that are going on that if a, if a person wanted to come try out your class, that they can do? Yes, we do.